Oh, welcome back. And for our second hot topic, NMA, the Nigeria Medical Association, seeking an upward review of their allowances to combat rising cost of living. You know, when I saw this yesterday, this headline yesterday, I said to myself, what what is it again with the NMA? But I got to understand that the federal government recently reviewed the consolidated medical salary structure for them. But the problem is that it was finalized in May 25th, just before the removal of the fuel subsidy and, of course, the attendant escalation of inflation. And so they are saying that, look, you reviewed it, but that was before you removed the fuel subsidy. And now what you reviewed is no longer good enough. So we need to do another review of it. And one can understand. But then uh, how they're going to go about it, we're not yet sure. Uh, we're not sure of the details of how they're going to go about it. Uh, we had planned to have a discussion with a doctor. But that, of course, will do uh, perhaps tomorrow or next. Um, Professor Ali Pate, the Coordinating Minister of Health, and social welfare is an accomplished, an accomplished um, global health leader. And so there is no doubt that he may be, or would be, or should be able to um, find a very good way of dialoguing and dealing with this issue. Uh, because whatever concerns the Medical Association of Nigeria, the Nigeria Medical Association is something that concerns everyone. We are always very keen when it comes to their issues because we do not want to hear that they're going on a warning strike or a strike of any kind. Um, so that's something that's in the news, some, something that's up there in the air. They're seeking a review of their allowances, an upward review, because the consolidated um, review they had, the review they had in May 25th, on May 25th is, is no longer, you know, feasible, it's no longer, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense anymore to them because of the removal of the fuel subsidy. And you can understand that because the salary that you earn today doesn't have the value that it had in January, doesn't have the value that it had in, 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 in you know, May uh, or, or February. And so that's the same spirit in which this um, medical uh, personnel are saying, look, you did something, we commend you for doing that, federal government, for that review that was done on the 25th of May this year. But, well, things have changed. The narrative is changing, um, the situation is changing, and we need to move with the tide and do another upward review so that we'll be able to survive considering the, 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 the rate of inflation that's on the rise in the country. Well, that's the much you can take today on the breakfast. It's been the tech file edition of the program. So let's give you the quote of the day before we go. The new information technology, internet and email, have practically eliminated the physical cost of communications. That's according to Peter Drucker. I am Maureen Menongwezigwe, thanking you for being a part of the show. On behalf of the entire team, I say thank you. Do join us again tomorrow for another episode. Good morning.